that's a hell of a sack, Miss Steele. Business meeting. I've done this before. Business meetings, I mean. Oh, uh... Miss Steele. Hmm? Your meeting. Page one. Strike out my old address and replace with a new one. An oversight. Duly noted. Page three, section 1520. The submissive shall submit to any sexual activity demanded by the dominant and shall do so without hesitation or argument. <laughs> uh, turn to page five, appendix three, soft limits. With you. Find anal fisting. I'm all ears. Strike it out. Strike out vaginal fisting, too. Are you sure? Yeah. Same page. Is the use of sex toys acceptable to the submissive? Vibrators, OK. Dildos, fine. Genital clamps, absolutely not. Consider them gone. What are butt plugs? You must go through quite a few non-disclosure agreements. My staff know only what I choose to tell them. Please resume, Miss Steele. <clears throat> also on page five, there are some terms which need clarification. Suspension. Hanging on ropes from the ceiling. For what possible reason? For your pleasure. Really? And mine. Something to consider. No, hard limit. Is bondage acceptable to the submissive? I'm good with rope, leather cuffs, handcuffs. Please lose tape. And uh, what's other? Cable ties? Can I just say how impressed I am with your commitment to this meeting? And in that spirit, I'm going to throw in a sweetener. How about once a week, on a night of your choosing, we go on a date? Just like a regular couple. Dinner, movie, ice skating, whatever you want. Accepted. You're very kind. I'll suggest it in Appendix 5. I would like to f you into the middle of next week. You're not fighting fair. I never have. I'll review all these changes and try to arrive at a decision. You want to leave? Yes. But your body tells me something different. Your legs, for instance. The way you're pressing your thighs together under the table and the change in your breathing. And in your complexion. My complexion? You're flushed. That could just be the wine. It's your adrenaline. Let's say I did stay. What would happen? First. 
I would help you out of that little dress of yours. Yes. And I'd be pleased to discover that you were naked underneath. Really? Then I would bend you over. Right here? Yes. On this table? Yes. Thank you for the meeting, Mr. Gray. This is me. Didn't know I was a collector of classic cars, huh? You sure I can't persuade you to stay? Good night, Christian. When will you know? Soon, maybe. Why do I think you're telling me goodbye? Because I'm leaving. 